I'm sure many of you are familiar with the names metformin and vitamin B12, especially if you have diabetes. Metformin is often prescribed as the first treatment choice for type 2 diabetes. But did you know that there is something important to consider if you are taking metformin? And here's the deal. While metformin can be safe and effective in lowering blood sugar levels, it does have some potential side effects. And guess what? One of them is a vitamin B12 deficiency. That's right. So get ready because in this video, we are going to talk about the important topic of metformin and find out why you need to pay close attention to your vitamin B12 levels when taking this medication. Jidosa the family here, welcome and please like and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get started. So why is vitamin B12 so important for our bodies? Well, I'm glad you asked. Vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin, is a super important nutrient for our bodies. It helps make red blood cells, which carry oxygen throughout our bodies. But that's not all. B12 is also an important nutrient when it comes to our brains and nerves. It helps keep them in good shape and make sure that our cognitive functions and nerve system work properly. In addition, it also helps our bodies make DNA, meaning it helps our bodies create new cells and maintain health growth. And here's another extra benefit. B12 helps prevent a type of blood condition called megaloblastic anemia, which can make you feel tired and weak. So you can see clearly why vitamin B12 is truly an important nutrient for our health and well-being. And remember, if vitamin B12 deficiency is left untreated, can lead to things like nerve damage, also known as diabetic neuropathy. That being said, how does taking metformin affect your vitamin B12? That is a great question. Metformin can actually interfere how our bodies absorb vitamin B12 in two ways. First, it can mess with the absorption of the intrinsic factor protein, which is needed for absorbing vitamin B12. Think of the intrinsic factor as the key that unlocks the door for vitamin B12 to enter our system. When metformin messes this process, it can make it harder for our bodies to get the vitamin B12 they need. And secondly, metformin also has the power to change the types of bacteria in our guts. And you may be wondering, what is the big deal? Well, our gut bacteria play an important role in helping us absorb and use vitamin B12. So when metformin affects the balance of bacteria in our guts, it can cause even more trouble absorbing and using vitamin B12. Now, let's switch gears and talk about how to tell if you do not have enough vitamin B12. But before we answer this question, you must understand that this is not a one-size-fits-all situation. However, usually old individuals have a higher risk of developing low B12 levels because their bodies may struggle with absorption. In addition, if you are taking a high dose of metformin or have been using it for an extended period, you may also face an increased risk. But here is the thing, even with these risk factors, it is important to remember that everyone is unique. So you may be taking metformin and still have perfectly healthy B12 levels. On the other hand, someone else may experience a deficiency despite taking a lower dose of metformin. So how can you truly know if your B12 levels are too low? It is as simple as getting a blood test and your doctor can check your B12 levels and determine if they fall within a normal range. Now, with this information in mind, it is also important to be aware of the signs and symptoms that may indicate B12 deficiency. 
So look out for symptoms like feeling weak and tired, shortness of breath, numbness or tingling in hands or feet, irregular heartbeats, mood changes, and your eyes or skin turning yellow. So how can you prevent a B12 deficiency while taking metformin? First thing first, make sure your B12 levels are checked at least once a year. One great way to keep your B12 levels up is by including foods that are rich in vitamin B12 in your diet. Think of lean meats, fish, and eggs. But if you want to try something different, why not explore the flavors of organ meats like liver? Trust me, they are more delicious than you might think. Now, if you are following a vegan, vegetarian, or plant-based lifestyle, it is especially important to pay attention to your B12 intake since it's mainly found in animal products. But in such cases, you can still get B12 from things like nutritional yeast, and you can also bridge the gap by considering B12 supplements. Speaking of supplements, vitamin B12 comes in different forms. But methylcobalamin in the form of a sublingual tablet, which dissolves under the tongue, has been shown to be better absorbed by the body. The recommended daily dose of vitamin B12 is 2.4 micrograms, but this can vary depending on your individual needs. So have a conversation with your doctor or pharmacist to determine the appropriate dose for you. And there you have it. Your health is important, and staying on top of any potential issues is a smart move. Stay well, stay informed, and take care of your health. Thanks for watching.